Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Trump pardoned him, D'Souza wasted no time selling out Obama with shocking claim. President Donald Trump pardoned conservative filmmaker and author Dinesh D'Souza, sparking controversy among his critics. If you can recall D'Souza as the man behind movies like 2016, Obama's America. In the wake of the pardon, D'Souza wasted no time before coming forward with a shocking claim about former President Barack Obama. It's a claim that has many eyes and ears on high alert as they dig into the mystery of his claim. When Barack Obama was in office, D'Souza was prosecuted for using a straw donor to make campaign contributions on his behalf which exceeded the established limitations for an individual. Although donors rarely face charges for such violations, especially left-wind donors, the investigation into D'Souza's actions were widely seen as a political witch hunt. But sadly he was forced to plead guilty in federal court back in 2014. Who can blame D'Souza for feeling the way he felt in America? Former President Barack Obama turned him into a political prisoner for not agreeing with his political views. Just like in communist Cuba, but with the help of the American justice system. Compare this to what happened to Rosie O'Donnell for doing the exact same thing via the New York Post. Rosie O'Donnell made illegally oversized campaign donations to at least five Democratic federal candidates, according to a Post analysis of campaign filings. The liberal comedian has regularly broken Federal Election Commission rules limiting the total any one person can give to an individual candidate at $2,700 per election. The limit applies separately to primaries, runoffs and general elections. Nothing nefarious, the outspoken star and Donald Trump perch nemesis wrote in an email to the Post. I was not choosing to over-donate. If 2700 is the cutoff, candidates, should refund the money, she wrote. I don't look to see who I can donate most to. I just donate assuming they do not accept what is over the limit." O'Donnell said she donates often, and uses the online liberal fundraising platform ActBlue. My anxiety is quelled by donating to those opposing Trump, and, his agenda, especially at night, when most of these were placed. Alabama Senator Doug Jones disclosed $4,700 from O'Donnell in his special general election bid last year against former GOP judge and accused child molester Roy Moore, his campaign filings show. Jones's office didn't return messages seeking comment. Pennsylvania Rep. Connor Lamb reported $3,600 from O'Donnell for the special general election he won in a March upset, his filings show. He's now running for a full two-year term in a different congressional district in November, and O'Donnell put up another $1,000 for that bid. Lamb's campaign manager said they will notify O'Donnell of her error and inform her that the extra $900 can be refunded or put toward the primary. Filings show O'Donnell gave a combined $5,400 in contributions over the limit to the five candidates, and used five different New York addresses and four variations of her name. O'Donnell donated $2,950 to California Rep. Adam Schiff, a 17-year veteran of the House, for his primary, according to his campaign filings. His campaign didn't return messages seeking comment. Lauren Underwood, an Illinois congressional candidate, reported $4,200 from O'Donnell for her primary, filings show. Her campaign didn't return a message. And Omar Vide, a little-known congressional candidate in Staten Island and Brooklyn, reported $3,450 in primary donations from O'Donnell, filings show. Vide's finance director said the campaign inadvertently designated some of the money to the wrong election and would amend its filings. Asked how much she gave to Vide, O'Donnell wrote, I have no idea. She said she assumed Act Blue limits donations to the max allowed. She added, I keep donating and that her brother Tim handles her money. She gave more than $90,000 the 2017 to 2018 election cycle to 50 different federal candidates and committees, filings show. Both donors and candidates are legally liable for contributions over the limit. But it's unlikely O'Donnell or her benefactors will be penalized for breaking FEC rules. Contributions over the limit can be refunded or counted toward a different election, and married donors can attribute the money to a spouse. Donors are rarely fined for excess contributions and then only if they are hiding the donations from the recipients, prominent D.C. campaign finance lawyer Jan Vito Oldbron said. Campaigns generally are not penalized for isolated contributions over a limit. However, multiple excessive donations may lead to an investigation, fines could result in such cases. O'Donnell is also a prolific local political donor, putting up at least $25,100 for city and state candidates since 2000, New York filings show. 
Last year she gave a maxed out $4,950 donation to Mayor de Blasio. In 2006 O'Donnell even gave $1,000 to former Westchester County DA and then Republican State Attorney General candidate Janine Pirro, now a Fox News host and loyal Trump defender. I also maxed out to Cynthia Nixon, O'Donnell told The Post. And I loathe Janine Pirro. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.